Federal Environment Minister Tony Burke joins us now from Parliament House in Canberra. Minister, good morning good to morning. you. Um, there is a lot of criticism this morning, as you well know, uh, about the, uh, the process leading up to this decision. Are you confident you have followed the right process in stopping the super trawler from fishing for fish? Completely. What I announced uh, a bit over a week ago was me going as far as I could under law as it stood. Uh, and I didn't want to contemplate changes to the law until I'd worked out with my department how far I could go under current law. That fell short of answering all the questions that I wanted answered. And at, the, at that moment, I started talking to my department about if we were to change the law, what sort of changes would we be able to do? And that's what I've announced yesterday. And this is despite, of course, the advice from the relevant authority here, the Australian Maritime uh, Fishes, Fishing Maritime Authority, which said that uh, based on its advice and its studies, its, uh, I assume, detailed scientific studies, there'd be no adverse impact of this super trawler operating in deeper waters. Well, let's not forget when that work was done, a vessel of this nature was not in contemplation. The scientific work that was done uh, was quite some years ago and the basis of it uh, was on very different sorts of vessels. You rarely have a situation where you have something as new and as different as this vessel is and have to you know, work out, do you have enough information in front of you? The process that I've proposed to the parliament is entirely a science-based process. The process that I've proposed is to say, there are questions which, if there are questions that are still not answered, you can have a formal expert panel to provide the advice on and fill those knowledge gaps. So you end up with a situation where you do have a science-based informed process, but you don't have to make the sorts of decisions that I was being encouraged to make now, where the sci scientific work has been largely based on very different forms of fishing. So we read from this, you will no longer trust the scientific advice coming from this authority? Well, I've got to say, it's, I can't imagine many situations where you have a new vessel that is so different in the way it operates from what we've had previously. And the difference with this vessel, I think we need to make clear, it's not, you know, there's a length of a boat that becomes too long or a size of a net that becomes too large. The, the net size itself, we've, we've seen similar before. The difference this time is because of the freezer capacity on the vessel, it means they can remain in the same part of the ocean for an extended period of time. Now, the scientific work has been done that says that's not a problem for the fish they're trying to catch. But my concern is about what about the fish or the species they're not actually targeting but get caught up anyway? The seals, the dolphins, the seabirds. I need as environment minister to make sure that that is sustainable. And that's the additional work which I wasn't able to get sufficient answers to and which this additional process would fill those knowledge gaps. It could be argued, Minister, you've been sleeping on the job, therefore the government has known for a long time, up to years, this super trawler was heading to Australia. It had already got other regulatory approvals. Why wait until now, just as it was going out to trawl for fish, to make this decision to keep it in dock? Look, there's a, a large range of companies that talk to government over extended period of time. Some end up coming here, some don't. It hasn't been that long that we've had no doubt that this vessel was coming. Once it came to my attention, I asked my department to give me the advice on how far I could go under current law. Uh, that advice I signed off on the same day that I appeared on Q&A last week, and I went to the limits of what I could do under current law. It still didn't answer all the questions that I had, and that's why I've recommended that we go the extra step. Whether it gets through the parliament or not, I don't know. We're still waiting to see what Tony Abbott's position is on this. Yeah, and uh, well, we, we have, let, let's keep Tony Abbott to one side. We have people like Rob Oakeshott already, one of the key independents, saying that he's likely, or indicating that he's likely not to support it. Uh, are you uh, confident at all this legislation will make it through the House in the very first instance? I don't take anyone's vote for granted on this. I know Rob's concerned about having a science-based process. If you have a look at the legislation that I've put into the parliament, that's exactly what we get, only we get to make sure we fill the knowledge gaps that currently exist. I think that's an important thing to do. But the issue of whether it gets through the parliament or not would be solved today if Tony Abbott indicates that he's in favour of it. Some of his backbench stood up in parliament yesterday. The member for Dawson stood up yesterday and, 
and indicated that he was opposed to the vessel itself. So I'm not sure how he would then turn around and vote against the bill, but let's see what they say. OK, finally, Minister, just let's clear up some confusion this morning about uh, which party made this decision. Uh, the Greens this morning have gone to Facebook with this picture, and if you can't see it, I'll, I'll read it to you. It's a picture of the super trawler with the very bold word superimposed, we stopped it. Minister, who stopped this super trawler? Uh, well, at the moment, no one has. At the moment, no one has. And there's legislation in front of the parliament that would allow me, if it's carried, to prevent the operation of the vessel while the scientific work that I believe needs to be done is carried out. But until that moment, let's face it, no one has. And it's in the hands of every member of parliament as to whether or not this vessel is fishing in our waters in the next few months without the scientific work that I believe needs to be done. And just quickly, done. What, what do you think of the Greens claiming credit for this? Uh, it, it's not unknown uh, when you make a decision that has generally gone down well publicly, that everybody else claims credit for it. Uh, if something goes down not so well, people run a mile. That's the nature of how issues work. I made this decision because of my concern about the environment. Uh, I know the Greens have run public campaigns. They haven't directly been lobbying me on this one. I'm told they wrote a letter to the Prime Minister at one stage. Uh, but you know, I've made this decision because I'm Australia's Environment Minister and I'm concerned about the knowledge gaps that we have. OK, Tony Burke, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Pleasure to be with you.